Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about Graves' disease on ultrasound. Graves' disease is an autoimmune hyperthyroid condition. It is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. It is diagnosed through lab tests, physical examination, and ultrasound findings. First, we will have a look at the specific signs and symptoms related to Graves' disease. It has many eye-related signs and symptoms. Proptosis refers to bulging eyes. It's seen in many Graves disease patients. There can be periorbital swelling or edema. Gritty or sandy sensations in the eye may also occur. Photophobia refers to abnormal sensitivity or intolerance to light. Diplopia refers to double vision and in severe cases, blindness may occur due to optic nerve compression. Graves' disease can also cause eyelid problems. Skin-related issues include pretibial myxedema, in which there is thickened, waxy, discolored skin usually seen over the shins. The skin may be warm and moist due to increased blood flow. In Graves' disease, there is usually a diffuse enlargement of the thyroid, called diffuse goiter. The enlargement is often painless. In some cases, a possible brute or murmur can be heard over the thyroid due to increased blood flow. Other signs and symptoms include hyperreflexia, which refers to overactive or exaggerated muscle reflexes, and tachycardia or irregular rhythm lab findings are very helpful in the diagnosis of Graves disease. The TSH thyroid stimulating hormone level is decreased. The free T3 and T4 levels are elevated. Thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins, the TSI level is also elevated in Graves disease. We will compare the normal ultrasound appearance of the thyroid with its appearance in Graves' disease patients. This is the normal thyroid in transverse plane. It has a hyperechoic and homogeneous echo texture. These are the right and left lobes. The isthmus is in the middle. The normal thyroid measurements are given here. The right side shows a thyroid affected by Graves' disease. There is diffuse enlargement of the thyroid, which means all three parts of the gland are enlarged. The right lobe, left lobe, and the isthmus are all enlarged. The echo texture is heterogeneous, and also it is hypoechoic. You can see the difference in the echo texture by comparing it with a normal thyroid. The enlargement is usually symmetric, but it can be asymmetric in some cases. Here's another case showing an enlarged thyroid gland with a heterogeneous echo texture. This enlargement is more severe than the previous case. This thyroid is heterogeneous, but not really hypoechoic, so this type of appearance can also occur. The isthmus is very thick and so are the right and left lobes. Nodules are usually absent in classic Graves' disease, but if they are present, then it is important to rule out malignancy or toxic nodules. This absence of nodules can be helpful in distinguishing it from Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease have some overlapping features on ultrasound but a nodular appearance is more common in Hashimoto's. And of course, we correlate these ultrasound findings with lab findings, which help in differentiating between Graves' disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Here is another case of Graves' disease. The thyroid appears enlarged, heterogeneous, and hypoechoic. The enlargement is asymmetric in this case. The enlargement in the right lobe seems more significant than the left. 
Thyroid Inferno refers to significantly increased vascularity on color Doppler. These are longitudinal views showing the thyroid gland. Normally, we will not see many color Doppler signals in the thyroid gland. These many color signals indicate a normal blood flow. But in Graves' disease, in a thyroid inferno, we see lots of color Doppler signals in the gland. This image shows the normal blood flow in the thyroid in transverse plane. The thyroid inferno refers to the intense vascularity in the thyroid on color Doppler. The thyroid appears enlarged and seems to have a hypoechoic and heterogeneous echo texture. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.